All right, guys, I just reached the spot here at the lake. Pretty quiet right now, but it's sunset as you can see, so it should be a really good moment to catch some carp. So let's see how it goes today. Setting up my rods. As always, one popper, a bigger one, and the other one with a smaller one. And I just put like one meter or meter and ten the depth I'm just gonna put this one like this like this easy okay now I'm gonna put a bit of bread on okay let's close it otherwise it gets dry As always, I just grab a little piece of bread, put the hook in the middle, and I just close it like a book, and then make like a wormy shape. It's a bit too much, I'm just gonna take this out. Ah, fish right jumped over there. I didn't see it, I just hear it. But they're hungry. Good. Easy. Little worm like this. One is done. Now I'm gonna do the other one. Just like this. And it's important. Squeeze very good the bread. Otherwise, the bread is gonna come off. You need to squeeze the bread really, really, really strong. Like this. Banana shape, wormy shape. Doesn't matter. Just like this. Alright. I'm gonna cast it right under here. Because I know this is a good spot where they like to chill around. So let's see how it goes today. So when this happens and the fish is not biting, give it a couple of go, but then no bites. What I like to do, I like to hit the bread, make some really, really, really small balls, squeeze them really good, like I'm doing now, like this. So as soon as you throw them, they just they just sink, and you throw them right next to the popper. So the fish they get used to eating this and as soon as they see our bait a bit bigger they're like oh that's bigger even i'm gonna take it immediately i just throw a couple in there a really 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 small just like this <laughs> this is really weird Oh, that's why. Look why. Because we had a bite and the hook now it's exposed. That's another reason why you need to um, squeeze very very strong the bait, uh, the bread especially, because as, as soon as they bite it a couple of times it's gonna come off. See, this is just one time and it was like this. So it's, it's bad because then they're gonna see something is wrong and they're not gonna bite it. So if nothing is happening, you know, after a few and you had bites, means something is wrong with your bait. Most of the time. Let's see how long we can have a bite. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure as soon as I will move in the other road, something will happen over here. But I'm gonna, oh yeah, see? There's really good bubbles right next to it. So for sure something is gonna come now. For sure. Just gonna throw a ball next to it. Something is happening on the other one as well. Something with a bite. Oh, the duck. Oh, look, look, look how many bubbles right behind it. Yeah, bubbles moved. Just move, oh, is it removed one second? Oh, th that's insane. This is really insane. I really stepped once back and the fish took it. This is incredible. And another trick that I like to do, I always like to keep my rod like this, if I can, or at least one, the one that is biting. Because if the fish is biting, I can just take the rod and strike immediately. Because this carved, they are very, very, very quick. Like they literally take the take the bait and they run away and as soon as they feel a bit of tension they just puke it out. Um, especially the small ones. The big one oh, no, I lost it. Fuck. Yeah, this, was, this was a small one because I didn't even feel the fish. I felt I feel it a, a little bit, but immediately it spuke it out and it's stuck in my shoes. Right. So, when this happens, what you can try to do is to put the bait smaller than the one of before. Always a bit smaller. Because if the bait is smaller, it's easier to hook up, to, yeah, to hook the fish. Because there is less to eat and the hook is more exposed. For example, I can just do something like this. And I leave just, just a little bit the end of the hook exposed, like this. And this should be 100% catch. Let's see. I'm gonna probably public this video like this, like uncut it. Oh my god, the light was falling in the water too. Everything is happening, okay. My rod is untangled. Test it again, right where the ducks are, like that. Okay, now I'm not gonna move my eyes from there, so we're 100% sure we're gonna catch it this time. I can't believe that. Just do it. As I told you. This one with a short catch. Whoop. Easy. And it came off alone as well. Same spot, the same fish coming back. And as I showed you, I just put a really little, little amount of bait. So How long are you? Oh wow, actually you're almost 28, almost 30. Not bad. And of course, my camera was not recording. Of course. Literally just after one... Not even one minute, I guess. Not even one minute. And look at this one. And the camera was not recording. Can you believe that, guys? Always like that. Let me check this one. I don't think the bread is gone, but 
it's possible because we are not having any other bites so maybe they are not convinced so we are gonna throw a bit of bread Fish on. I told you, just just by throwing a little bit of bread. Okay, nice middle carp. Really, really nice one. Let's see if we can pull it up without blocking another fishing rod. Nice and easy. A bit bigger than the other ones. Always a bit bigger. Yeah, 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 stop moving, stop moving. Okay, good. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Oh, I keep losing that thing. Oh, it's here. Just for fun, I'm gonna keep an eye on the other rod as well. Hey. It's dirty. Right on the dot, 30 centimeter, 12 inch. Not bad. Just gonna take a really quick picture. I I will sound really really boring, um, and I don't want to be boring and annoying. But the most important thing is to pay attention on the popper. Right now, I just saw it moving. As I said it, as I said it, keep always an eye on the popper. Like an eye has always need to be like really fixed on the popper. You can't leave the popper, and that's how you catch the fish with it. And you catch many. You just need to pay attention because it's a blink of an eye. It really takes a blink of an eye to miss a fish or don't see it. It's moving. Yeah, 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 look. Just got a bite. It's small and I think that the bait there is a bit big. So the fish is not able to take it all. So it's just trying to break it apart. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna move it. Yeah, it's still there. In 10 minutes, I caught three. Probably less than 10 minutes, I caught three. Just because I never left the eye from the popper. That's the magic trick. This is not the, the, the best setup to have two poppers so close to each other. But because I see many bites over there, I just gonna catch it. Just gonna throw some balls so we make them some bread balls. Ah, oh, that stupid duck. Yeah, 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 look, immediately I have the bite. I just, I, I missed it because I was looking at the duck, but we had a bite on the small one, the one on the left. Let's see if it comes back. I'm just gonna throw a, another piece of bread. These ducks are so annoying. Yeah, 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 the popper is going. Yeah, fish on. And we are at four with this one. Nice. 15 minutes for carp. Little ones, but always good to eat. I know many people, they don't eat carp, but actually they are very, very, very tasty. Maybe one day I'm gonna do a catch and cook. I'm gonna measure it just for fun. But this one is a bit smaller. I reckon 25. I don't know why my GoPro stopped the recording, but just for fun, I said this was 25 and it's like actually 26. Nice one.
Alright, another way you can do it like this and leave the hook really exposed. I actually never tried with the hook so exposed, but it should work because mainly they're gonna see the white. So it should work. Let's see. Yeah, fish up. Oh yeah, this is fighting a bit more. Oh, this is a bit bigger. Oh yeah, it's gonna be forty this one. Yeah, 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 come back. Oh yeah, this is a nice one actually. I should actually secure the other rod and put it down. Otherwise, if a fish is gonna come, it's gonna just straight away. I don't know if we can pull this one up, but I'm gonna try to put it in the net. Let's see if we can reach it. Very hard. Let's see if we can. I'm gonna leave a bit of line. I'm gonna take the line with my hands. I think it's also 50 this one actually. All good, all good. Wow. Let's measure this guy. And I always lose it. Okay, it's here. Maybe this one is actually 50. 40, no? 41. And for the American ones, it's 16 inch inches. Not bad. Really nice one. Good to eat. Really fatty belly. Look at this belly. He's so fat. He's been eating really good. All right. This is the fifth one. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a quick picture. See, it was not recording again. I don't know what happened. Oh my god. No, no, it's alright. You can just lift it up. No. What? Okay. <laughs> I can hear it. Alright, I missed the hook up, but the float was gone. It's right on the dot 30. Looks like the same one of before. This one is moving. You see? You see yeah. it's going? Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know why. Maybe I should change the hook. Maybe it's not sharp enough. Because you know it was literally swimming away with it. Yeah, it's not pinching too much. I, yeah, that's a bite. I told you. You're not paying attention? Yeah, that bites. I just saw it very quickly. It's still moving, it's still moving a bit, probably it still has it in his mount, but I'm waiting for a run, so I can hook it up better. No, I think he left it. But they're here, they are right under here. I'm gonna cast this one over here.
Oh yeah, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Oh no, I left it. Yeah. Mm, no, he left it. That was not the big bite. What? Yeah, everything is still on, but still I'm gonna change it. He's moving around. Yeah, yeah, he's he has the bait in the mouth and he's like chilling around. What the hell? I'm gonna strike now. Not now. Let's wait, wait, wait. I don't know if it's a big one, really big one, and has the bait in the mouth and he didn't realize what the hell is happening. But it's swimming around with my bait. When it's gonna swim a bit more, I'm gonna. Yep, yeah, now. Yep, yeah, fish on. Oh, it was actually a small one. Look, no jokes, no lies, this is here. Oh, that's a nice mirror. To end my day, this is a really nice mirror. Can you see this? Look at this little guy. Uh, you can't see actually much. That is a nice mirror. Swallow it? No, not even swallow it. The hook is like just here. That's insane. He was swimming with the bait in the mouth. He was like, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna be in your video, Martin. I want you to take me a picture and put it in your video. Alright, I'm gonna take a nice picture of you. Probably you can see the fish better from my phone. <laughs> GoPro, iPhone. Okay. bites on this one here <laughs> should I stay a bit more and catch another one or should I go I keep having bites, I don't want to live. <laughs> it's always like that, no? When you're having bites. But yeah, my GoPro now is not gonna record anything anymore. It's, it's getting really dark. And 20 minutes video, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave. Or maybe I catch one just for fun. And then I'm gonna leave. And I see you in the next video.